Police Academy is approximately 11 weeks long for the state of Georgia, but it, it varies from department to department of additional training. The Institute for Criminal Justice Training Reform finds basic training requirements for law enforcement in Georgia is 408 hours, compared to Tennessee, which is just a bit more at 480 hours. Stacy Meeks, with the city of Lafayette, believes law enforcement needs more than that. They attend the police academy for 11 weeks, they come back to us, and they're still not a full-fledged police officer at that point. They have to go through our field training officer program, which is at the shortest duration is 90 days long. It's three months long. It consists of three different phases. The city of Dalton tells us their police department also extends the amount of training after a potential officer completes their time in the academy. They tell us, quote, they then begin what is at least another 11-week field training officer program in which they first complete more classroom training and then ride with experienced mentor training officers through their four different phases of the program. For Lafayette, if we have to run short or work extra shifts to to get the right person and take the time to train them before we turn them loose, that's what we're going to do. Meeks says their department makes sure their police officers are ready for anything when on the job. It takes years to be a good police officer and you're still, you're, I, I've been in it for 30 years, I'm still learning, but those first few years you're still learning just because you may be, like with our department, you might after six months be out on your own after the basic 11 weeks of the academy and the three months of field training, but you're still a rookie. Meeks says the state's requirements need an update. I would personally like to see a standardized uh, field training program instituted by the state of Georgia to where we're all on the same sheet of music. Meek says along with their field training program, officers also learn ways to de-escalate situations that do not involve violence. That includes using jiu-jitsu. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.